Hello everyone and welcome to another unboxing video. Now this is on the latest Doctor Who Blu-ray box set, season 14. And let's get this open because I can't wait to see what lies in store. Cut through it there. And if we... Aha! If we... That's packaged really weird. If we take that out, put the box and the uh, scissors to one side. This just looks fantastic. I absolutely love it. Uh, it just looks fantastic. Another awesome cover by Lee Binding. You've got the front here. You've got the spine here. Interesting enough, this is rated PG, not a 12, which is odd. You've got the underneath there. You've got the back there, which I'll probably talk about in a little while. And you've got this bit here and Doctor Who The Collection Season 14. So, that's more or less the outer packaging. Now let's uh, cut open the wrapping and get inside very carefully. So, put the folds to one side. Now here it is, all in its outer packaging. Oh, this just looks so gorgeous. I am loving this design. You've got Tom Baker here in his Sherlock Holmes outfit from the Talons of Wayne Chiang, holding the tea to the, uh, not the tea, <laughs> key to the time cabinet. Um, Talons, you've got a Vok robot there, you've got Magnus Greel, aka Wayne Chiang, or is that the other way around? Uh, you've got Eldrad from The Hand of Fear, and you've got one of those, um, I'm actually not sure what they're called from The Mask of Mandragora, because I've not seen that story in a while, but this just looks absolutely gorgeous. I'll just take, uh, just put that to one side there, we'll look at it, we'll look at a clean image. Uh, yeah, just really love this, I love the purple here that you that we've got going on. In fact, we look at season 12 and season 18, the other Tom Baker seasons that have been released on Blu-ray, you'll notice that purple seems to be the recurring colour theme. And uh, yeah, Tom is now the first Doctor to have three of his seasons on Blu-ray because the other Doctors all just have one. Though there is rumour that we are getting season 20 sometime this year if the world returns to a form of normality sometime. Anyway, let's just put these other two to one side. If you want to see unboxing videos on those two, you can check it out. You've got that there, you've got the spine all clean, and you've got the TARDIS. That's a very nice image of the TARDIS swirling around in the time vortex, which looks to be made of glass. Mm. Let's put the box to one side for a sec. We'll look at this. Again, it's just the bottom half with the rating and everything. Now, continue your Doctor Who archive with the Ultimate Collector's set. Classic season from the fourth Doctor, all 26 episodes newly remastered and packed with bonus material. The Mask of Mandragora, The Hand of Fear, The Deadly Assassin, The Face of Evil, The Robots of Death, The Talons of Wang Chiang. All 26 episodes newly restored for Blu-ray and packed with extra material, including brand new special effects for The Talons of Wang Chiang. Let's hope they improve that giant rat. In conversation, Matthew Sweet chats to Philip Hinchcliffe. That'll be great to look at. Our Sarah Jane, a new documentary celebrating the life of Elizabeth Sladen. I'm going to have to grab the tissues for that uh, documentary. Behind the Sofa, new episodes with Tom Baker, Louise Jameson, Philip Hinchcliffe, Peter Purvis and Sophie Aldred. Really looking forward to watching those because they're my favourite new special feature for the Blu-rays. Brand new audio commentaries with Tom Baker on episodes of The Face of Evil and the Towns of Wang Chiang. Who's Doctor Who, the 1977 documentary. Who's Doctor Who Revisited, a look back at this landmark documentary. Uh, Blu-ray trailer, audio archive, 5.1 surround sound, starring Tom Baker, Elizabeth Sladen, and Louise Jameson. Yep, yeah, I can't wait to l dive into all these special features and stories, of course. Now, let's put that to one side, and let's look inside the box. Let's open it. Oh, oh they're all falling out. Ah, this looks gorgeous, I love it. We'll look at the discs first. You've got... I'm not going to take these out. Disc one, you've got the Mask of Mandragora. And one detail I like is that this is uh, the seal of Rassilon from the Deadly Assassin. Or is that um, or is that the seal of Voga from Revenge of the Cybermen? Who knows? Uh, you've got the Doctor and Sarah Jane there. Disc two, the Hand of Fear, the Doctor and Eldrad. And that story. Disc three, the Deadly Assassin, the Doctor in his Time Lord robes. One of the very, very, very best Doctor Who stories ever, ever. Uh, despite but some people think it might be boring, but it's not. Disc four, oh, she's upside down. Disc four, The Face of Evil, Leela's first story with Louise Jameson, 
on the front there, that's great. This five, The Robots of Death, again, another all-time classic in my opinion, one of the very best Doctor Who stories. You've got the robot there with the red eyes and all his minions in the background. Disc six. Oh, turn it around. The Doctor and Leela in their Victorian garb for the Talons of Wang Chiang. Disc seven, The Talons of Wang Chiang, again. I presume that's got extra bonus material on it, and because this is a six part, they might not have had the, the big, a big enough storage space for all of them. And uh, oh dear, disc eight is falling out, but that's what it looks like uh, there. Again, keeping the TARDIS at the back. And if we take out the disc again, you've got Tom Baker there, all from um, uh, his 70s face in the titles, which looks great. Let's put the discs to one side and let's look inside the booklet. Now let's get this open. This is an image from the face of evil and it looks fantastic. The Doctor outside the TARDIS, Leela, and if you look closely there you can see uh, the Doctor's face who, um, uh, if you've seen the face of evil you'll know that the Doctor had been to that planet before but he'd messed everything up and had come back. But let's open it up. Oh that's a gorgeous image. You've got the Doctor there in his Time Lord robes and you've got like images from the story so you've got Sarah Jane there, Louise Jameson there as Leela and yeah it looks great and uh, before we look inside the booklet oh my god wow the TARDIS console here looks brilliant uh, this is you may thinking it looks very different from what we've seen before and that's true it is uh, for this season they introduced a new TARDIS console that was made of wood and I think it's known as the Edwardian TARDIS console and honestly, I love this console room. I do wish they kept it around longer, but apparently it was damaged in storage between season 14 and 15, so it only made one appearance for this season, and it was back to the usual TARDIS console room. But yeah, the artwork here looks incredible. You could easily make some figure adventures out of this background. But uh, let's just seal this up. And let's take a look inside the booklet. Again, same image here. Ap Apotheosis, welcome to season 14. In 1976, Doctor Who was riding a creative high. The program was hugely popular with British audiences and Tom Baker and Elizabeth Sladen were one of television's most recognizable and beloved partnerships. Behind the scenes, producer Philip Hinchcliffe and script editors for Robert Holmes had steered the program away from earthbound familiarity of the John Pertwee era and into tougher, more dangerous, more alien territory with gothic horror overtones. Their third season would continue to build on this winning formula. Yep, you got that right. And uh, quite interesting here is that they tend, they read into um, all the stories that are featured here. That's quite odd on the introduction because usually they just overlook the season as a whole and don't really mention the specific stories. But I think they do it here is because uh, alongside um, season 10, this is the, they're the only two Doctor Who seasons on Blu-ray to be released with that aren't a uh, Doctor's debut season or a uh, Doctor's final season, which... Uh, it's quite odd, so technically, yeah, this is just like another season of Doctor Who, you could argue. Season 14 will be producer Philip Hinchcliffe's last, but his influence is still felt on the programme today. Yeah, especially with the timeless children. In partnership with Robert Holmes and Tom Baker, he crafted three hugely successful series that cemented Doctor Who's place in British television history. Certainly did. Oh, you've got a quote from Philip Hinchcliffe here. Doctor Who is absolutely unique. We were attempting to do the impossible virtually every week, and you succeeded, Mr Hinchcliffe. So, Disc 1, The Mask of Mandragora, audio commentary with Tom Baker, Gareth Armstrong, Philip Hinchcliffe, making of documentary, Behind the Sofa, can't wait to look at these, Nationwide, or audio archive. Again, we've got all the pictures here and the development of the story. Move along here. Wow, this is really big. <laughs> and uh, you've got the reception, the after image, really gorgeous images here. Disc 2, The Hand of Fear, Tom Baker, Elizabeth Sladen, Judith Paris, Philip Hinchcliffe from co-writer Bob Baker, making of documentary, behind the sofa, Elizabeth Sladen tribute. My God, am I going to be in tears when I watch that. New to Blu-ray, families, friends and colleagues look back on the life and actress of career of actress Elizabeth Sladen. Contributors include Tom Baker, Philip Hinchcliffe, David Tennant, Louise Jameson, Phil Collinson and Tommy Knight, Luke and Sarah Jane Adventures. Oh, I can't watch that. I'm probably going to cry a lot. Uh, audio archive, Doctor Who stories. Oh, that's a lovely image of the Hand of Fear, the Sarah Jane and her Andy Pandy outfit. Keep moving. More great images here. 
Disc 3, The Deadly Assassin, uh, making of documentaries, more or less the same um, uh, special features that were on the DVD. You've got the master there in his emaciated form. The Deadly Assassin is just one of my all-time favourite Doctor Who stories. I absolutely adore it. Uh, more images there. Disc 4, uh, a new audio commentary. Tom Baker on parts 1 and 3 only, new for Blu-ray and recorded in 2019. Making of documentary, behind the sofa, film trims. This will be really great to see. Um, yeah, Face of Evil is a pretty good story. It's a good introduction for Leela. More images here that look great. More artwork. This is really big. <laughs> Disc 5, uh, audio commentaries. Uh, there's two. Uh, making of documentaries, behind the sofa, model footage. This all looks fantastic. The robots look great. Yeah, Robots of Death, again, it's another classic for me. Absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. Disc 6 and 7, The Towns of Wang Chiang. Um, updated special effects. This will be really interesting to see how they redo the giant rat and the laser effects. I've heard it was quite good at the BFI screening. Sadly, I didn't go. Making of documentary, Tom Baker and Philip Hinchcliffe meet to discuss their final story together. A new audio commentary with Tom Baker on parts 1, 4 and 6. This will be really cool to see. Disc 7, Who's Doctor Who? Now, that was the very first Doctor Who documentary ever made, I think, which looked at behind-the-scenes footage of, of the talents of Wang Chiang. And it was included on the DVD release, but now Toby Haydock has made a new documentary that revisits it, which includes um, uh, contributions from the children who uh, made contributions and their thoughts on the programme. Deep Roy interview, the foe from the future at studio footage. Ooh, that'll be interesting to see. Uh, I love Talons of Wang Chang as well. For me, it's another classic. And yes, this may contain language that could offend people. Uh, it's just one. It's just my favourite Tom Baker story. I absolutely love everything about it. It's just the perfect way to round off the Philip Hinchcliffe era. Magnus Creel, uh, the sewers, Mr. Sin, the bonus disc, which is disc eight. Philip Hinchcliffe in conversation. The former producer sits down with Matthew Sweet to discuss his work on Doctor Who. This will look fan. This will be great to watch. I think. Uh, Tom Baker on Call My Bluff, that'll be cool to see. Uh, Tom Baker and Philip Hinchcliffe interview, an interview recorded for the Towns of Wang Chiang, making our documentary, Unseen Material, cool. Blu-ray trailer, PDF written documentary, now if we look at the back, hooray, Tom Baker there, looking quite serious, but if we open that up, that looks really good, fantastic. Now let's pop this back inside. So yeah, once again, this is a fantastic looking box set that I can't praise enough. Um, I just can't wait to get into all those bonus features and revisit all the stories again. Uh, season 14, I just think, is one of the very best Doctor Who seasons ever made. Uh, you've got three classics in there. You've got uh, two good ones in there and you've got one great one. So there's not a bad story in there in the bunch, I think. I think they're all fantastic. There's not one there I can call weak. So... Um, now, we don't know what's coming next for the Blu-ray range, but there's heavy rumours that it could be season 20, which is Peter Davison's next season. But I'm going to ask you guys this. What Tom Baker season would you like to see next on Blu-ray? I'm hearing rumours that it's going to be season 17, but they could completely ignore us and maybe complete off the Philip Hinchcliffe era by adding season 13. But they've not touched the Graham Williams era yet, which is season 15 to 17. Personally, I'd like to see the Key to Time season next. That'd be a really cool season to have. But let me know in the comments below what you think, and I shall see you all next time for more content. Goodbye.